What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Super CGI Ultimate Gohan Superhero. This is the figure everyone has been waiting for. So let's not waste any time and dive right into it. Starting off with the sexy packaging, as you guys can see, it does fit the same brown theme that they have done with the rest of the figures in the line. Um, I'm not sure why it doesn't really fit the uh, movie's colorful nature, but whatever. Anyway, it does say SHF Ultimate Gohan Superhero along the side. Tamashi Nation's quality sticker of approval. You got the window where you can see the figure. Um, it does say Dragon Ball Super Superhero down there. Tamashi Nation's Bandai, ages 15 and up. You've got some comic book style images along the side, the top, and even even the bottom here um, and then of course on the back you got some poses you can get the figure into as well as all the legal stuff that I can't read because I imported this from Japan so um, yeah anyway no one cares about any of what I just said so let's go ahead and bust this figure out and see what he's all about now straight out of the package hot diggity damn man this is not the Dragon Ball Z Majin Saga Gohan but it is the closest thing we're gonna get to it at least for the time being and am I satisfied with this yes if you want to know if you should pick this figure up look I'm telling you right now before you even continue the rest of the review yes this thing is a beast man this implements that 3.0, 4.0. I don't even know where we are in the Dragon Ball line anymore. I don't know if this is 3.0, 4.0, none of that, man. They're just constantly updating these Dragon Ball molds. And this just makes me happy that we still haven't gotten certain characters because this shows what Tamashi Nations can do, man. This is a third... I'm I'm elaborating like I've even showed you guys the figure just yet. Let's bring this guy in for a close-up. For the longest, I have always said I needed a breath of fresh air when it came to the Dragon Ball line. Meaning, I'm tired of getting reused molds, uh, the same old Goku, the same old Vegeta, and all the figures feeling the same. But this is the breath of fresh air air i have been asking for man and then to top it all off it is my favorite character i've always loved gohan more than goku and vegeta i love trunks more than i love goku and vegeta so man this is just dope man this i don't even know where to start um i saw 86's review and he said something that stood out to me they have made several gohan figures or two in particular the great saiyan man and then even the uh, ultimate gohan they never captured gohan's face like this this looks so damn good man the hair looks absolutely amazing the facial expressions i really love the detailing and everything the painted mouth the eyes man oh my gosh this is good this is just good look how bulky he looks man i don't know if you guys can tell but this actually looks like that old dragon ball style we used to get where the characters were actually really and i'm talking about from the anime not from the figures but where the characters just look really buff like when we were kids and we always said oh man i want to go up and go to the gym so i can be like goku and be bulky this is it man this is this is exactly that <sighs> all right and on to the body so everyone i'm sure got their hands on the krillin that released not too long ago i think it's been a couple of months i don't keep up with dragon ball releases it's too damn many but um krillin had he's krillin has always had the best dragon ball body now that i think about it but we ain't gonna talk about that uh anyway yeah krillin figures that's strange but yeah <laughs> anyway the krillin came out a couple of months ago and everyone was like just raging at how good it was or raving not raging and um here we now have it on adult figures that updated articulation we have the arms that are now a part of are the sleeves that are a part of the arm we got the diaphragm joint that cuts into the shirt uh and so you can actually get mobility out of these figures a lot more uh the new leg design the engineering for the ankle rocker and i know i'm talking about articulation i'm just going to be all over the place with this review i'm gonna tell y'all that right now this is my favorite character so but anyway this thing just looks good man this that's the only way I can put it. This figure so far is absolute 
perfection for me, man. I love this a lot. And I could go on forever. So let's go ahead and put him back and see how tall he stands. Now, for the height of this figure, to the top of his forehead, he's right at about five and a half inches. To the top of his hair, he's actually closer to six and a half. So, I think this is pretty normal with figures that have tall hair for SHF. Um, it definitely is going to fit in scale, and I will be showing size comparisons a little bit later on in the review. Moving on to the articulation. He looks up a decent amount, not as much as I would want him to. They actually did something different, and we now have a double ball peg, which I am fine with this. Hopefully, they keep doing that. Therefore, we don't have to worry about these breaking. He looks down very well. Chin can touch the chest. The head is very mobile, man. You can get this guy to be extremely expressive, and it works. The arms also work very well. You can kind of tuck these in and get him to do a very good T-pose. So this I am happy with on top of that if you rotate these the right way you can actually get them to come forward and you can get him doing really good Masenko high poses or Kamehameha whatever you want to do and they painted the joints in here purple so it doesn't look like there's any kind of skin tone showing I really like that um, he does have a bicep swivel double jointed elbows that work very well the hands are on the typical ball peg getting that same amount of range uh, he does have the new diaphragm joint which I really love uh, although it's not the most effective it does help and you can get him to lean back about that much and that helps with looking up poses you can really get him to look down also you just kind of got to push the piece forward and then that's going to help with those looking down poses my bad i popped the head off but it wasn't all the way on there so uh yeah it does rock and move around he does have waist swivel as far as the legs go he can kick forward very far he can do the splits completely he does have a thigh swivel double jointed knees that are very very effective um you can turn him at the boot foot goes down about that much up about that much really good ankle rocker and good toe hinge so this is it man the dragon ball line once again just continuing to grow and this gohan is proof of that now with this figure being as good as it is obviously something had to be bad about it and that's the fact that it doesn't really come with any accessories. He comes with a neutral head, which is just him looking bland. He comes with a yelling face, and he comes with a teeth gritted face. And it's weird, because these faces kind of look like Bardock to me. Maybe I'm tripping, but that's who I see when I look at him. Looks like Bardock without the scar. Anyway, he comes with a pair of fist hands, of course, a pair of updated brand new martial arts hands. Uh, and these are, I think, the ones that came with Super Saiyan Goku. They just took the uh, Super Saiyan 4 fur off of them. But he comes with a pair of blast hands and a pair of Kamehameha hands. So that's pretty much all you get. If you don't know, he does have another batch of accessories coming with Gama 1 and Gama 2, which that was Tamashii Nation's way of selling those figures because they knew we weren't going to buy them. Honestly, I would have gladly paid 50, 60, even 70 bucks to get all those extra accessories to come with this figure. But since they put it out early, technically they would have been spoiling us by including those. So, well, actually, no, they weren't because all that was in the trailer. So, yeah, they should have just added those accessories and we would have been happy. Moving on to size comparisons, here he is standing next to the rest of the Dragon Ball CGI figures that we have gotten from the superhero movie. We got Goku right here, Piccolo right here, and Vegeta right here. I don't know what it is, but I have really enjoyed every single one of these figures. I have been trying to get out of the Dragon Ball line, at least mostly, but I just really enjoy every single one of these releases. Even though the Goku and Vegeta aren't even that good. I just really like them. I don't know what it is. And this Gohan just adds to that tenfold. Now, I still haven't gotten a lot of my Dragon Ball figures out of boxes and bins, so I'm just going to have to compare them to some other stuff. Here he is standing next to the SH Figuarts Buzz Lightyear, which is currently contender for number one figure of 2022. We have him standing next to the best in-game MCU Iron Man figure, in my opinion, uh, from the Mafex Gods. And, of course, we have him standing next to the Mafex in-game Captain America as well. All of these are solid figures. And lastly, for even more random figures, here he is standing next to the Jazzwares Fortnite 
Meowsels, a Marvel Legends, I don't remember if this is exclusive or not, but a Marvel Legends Moon Knight, and then we have him standing next to a Marvel Legends Kane Parker Spider-Man, uh, which was given to me by my boy Dash of Salt. Thanks a lot, bro. I really appreciate it. Now, if you really need to hear my final thoughts on this figure, then you had to not have been paying attention the whole entire rest of the review, because this one, I don't even feel like I have to say I recommend it. Like, for one, this is the first Gohan we've gotten in the purple gi on a brand new base body with brand new updated articulation and these dope expressions. If you didn't pre-order this, then automatically you took an L with this one. If you're a Dragon Ball collector and you didn't pre-order this, you took an L with this one. Now, that being said, if you tried to pre-order it, but you couldn't, that's a different story. Because we all know what it's like to wake up and try to pre-order Dragon Ball figures on AmiAmi. The ones that aren't web exclusives and they sell out in like three seconds after they go up for pre-order. Trust me, guys. I feel you on that one. This one I was actually lucky enough to get, but a buddy of mine in Dragon Ball, in Dragon Ball, in Japan actually picked it up for me. So um, I have another one on the way, um, but I just asked him to get it just in case because I was so afraid I wasn't going to be able to get this guy. Somehow I scored this. I have no idea how, but um, seriously though, I understand y'all. These Dragon Ball figures are getting more and more complicated to pre-order. So if you did miss out, I do believe he will be up on several domestic websites. I would say give it about a month and a half. Yes, it's gonna suck having to wait, but you will be able to find him because he is a regular release. So this is not one that you have to worry about missing out on. Uh, just keep checking out your uh, big bad toy stores, toys in the box. They're really great. I recommend them more than anyone. Um, I don't know, Toy Arena, all those places uh, should be getting this. Xavier Cow, you name it. But um, overall, this is a solid figure, man. Guys, go get this if you can't. Um, I, I hate to say it, but if I paid scalper price for this, I wouldn't even care after I got it in hand and, and I really hate to say that but overall that's my review I hope that you guys enjoyed it if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up you know that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content and lastly follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are you know the mojo bye